Okay, my dear students. Uh, see this problem here. In this problem, it is seen that the lengthy method is given by using free body diagram, which is shown on the left side here. So this is a lengthy method which is shown by free body diagram. If you use this method, it will take two minutes, minimum two minutes in solve in the, to solve the problem in J mains and NEET. But two minutes if you spend on one problem, you can't manage the time. So we need certain uh, lateral thinking methods or out of box thinking methods which will reduce your time and you can solve the problem within 17 seconds. Within 17 seconds I am telling. So if you want to uh, learn these techniques then you are at the right video. You are at the right professor, I mean lecturer. Okay. Let me tell you the method which we have to solve the problem. So the shortcut method is given here. Uh, you can see that there is a rod in which this side some force is there, this side some force is there. Okay, so this side it is uh, uh, 10 newtons, this side it is 15 newtons. This side length is 12 centimeters, this side length is 10 centimeters, uh, 8 centimeters, what I mean to say, and total length is 20 centimeters. For this type of problems, there is a shortcut here. What is that? This side force and that side length and that side force and this side length this is the logical method to solve the problems of this type now let us see how easy you get this answer which is given here that is 12 newtons is given no this 12 newtons to get he has done this much method it's very confusing and sometimes he may go wrong also in that pressure of examination but let me teach you a wonderful technique to solve the problem so you know uh, the force, I mean the tension acting between the, between the rod when you pull this side and that side is given by T. So that tension which is uh, represented in the diagram here, T and T, that T you can find out by using the formula F1 L2 plus F2 L1 by L1 plus L2. What is that tension now? Let us see. So T is equal to F1 L2. F1 means 10 newtons and L2 means 12 plus F2 means 15. And L1 means 8, okay, into 8, divided by L1 plus L2, that is nothing but 8 plus 12. So therefore, how much are you getting? 120 plus 120 divided by 20. So finally, we're getting T is equal to, how much? 240 by 20. So your answer is going to be 12 Newtons. Is it not the wonderful method to solve the problems of this type? Is it not the problem is reducing your time? If it is really reducing your time, please comment below how, in which chapter and which problem I have to solve this type of shortcut methods. In which topic I should solve the shortcut methods, you just comment below. I am ready inshallah to solve your problems. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.